Hey guys, it's the Mayhem Minute for April 28th, 2015. Happy birthday, DJ Lunchbox. Go hit up at DJ Lunchbox and wish him a happy birthday or belated, depending on when you found this. But, of course, the, today we're going to talk about something very serious. Of course, TNA Wrestling, if you haven't heard, has picked up Billy Corgan. Yes, Smashing Pumpkins. Billy Corgan as a creative mind. Of course, he's uh, known for his resistant, resistance pro wrestling, I believe, ran mostly out of the Chicago area, but he's a part of it. And Fox News, according to WrestleZone.com, as I usually travel to for my news bits, uh, great stuff over there, um, Fox News has covered this up, and it went in an interesting direction when they started talking about it, according to Billy Corgan. Uh, there's a tremendous opportunity in to go into really fresh new directions, having characters who explore race or transgender issues is certainly a possibility. There are ways to explore those themes in ways that are productive, create new stars, and show that value-based baby faces, no matter what their background, no matter what they come from, can draw new audiences, inspire people in new ways. It would be something completely different. To the point where I'm sitting there watching Jerry Springer's Too Hot for two TV, and I'm, I'm watching the Billion Chuck and Rico storyline from uh, 10 years ago, probably at this point, uh, we're surrounding a gay wedding, or at least an intended gay wedding wedding and we've we've had this discussion i we've had this discussion before with some of our friends uh you know that you know that are getting you know talking about their uh, you know like is there really anything for them in pro wrestling because of how those characters are portrayed we've had such a tna for instance had a horrible reputation because they had orlando jordan um who who was out and they turned him into this weird snm character not exactly the way to capture that side of the audience i don't think um but uh if this is for real, if there's something they're going to do with this, if this is something that TNA can stand out and do something creative, uh, but once again, I don't think you're going to be able to do this. I mean, this is professional wrestling where we're used to really crass examples of stereotypes to get a rise out of the audience. And we've already talked and been concerned about, um, you know, a, a, a not portrayed but out character or out wrestler in WWE potentially getting booed for his alignment, you know, uh, potentially, you know, having issues because of the United Arab and Emirates. And uh, when a company, uh, you know, especially as international as uh, TNA is, I wonder what uh, feedback they would get uh if they tried something like this but if this is something that they can do to stand out because right now they're getting st stomped they're by all intents and purposes what i can tell a little bit i've watched of it what i've heard about it from certain sources some just hate it uh it doesn't look like a horrible show it looks like they're doing interesting stuff but they're not sticking out from the pack and that's always been tna's problem but they do cover this this is something that can be different but I'm afraid it's going to be a gimmick different versus an actual feeling different that uh, Lucha Underground is just stealing things, just stealing the momentum away from TNA. And I think very, very close to becoming uh, the number three, if not number two, uh, behind ROH at this point. Because I, I just can't see TNA keeping up unless they really do something different. And they seem to just be doing same, 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 other than maybe a little bit of what they're doing with their Divas division, or Knockouts division. I'm sorry. What do you think about this? Do you think one? What do you think about Bill Corgan billing being part of TNA creative team? First of all, hang with Big and Dixie Carter. What's that going to turn into? And what do you think about this angle of uh, bringing in uh, racial and transgender gendered issues, especially in a world where our uh, our, our racial representation is uh, primetime players and a new day? And I know people have been pretty down on a new day for their representation. And I think some people that are actually from TNA have been commenting on that. Or are at the very least people from Ring of Honor, if I remember my tweets right. Let us know what you think at Mayhem Show on the Twitter, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And join us at live at wrestling, live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com. 8 p.m. Eastern Time every Tuesday night, 11 p.m. for the Indie Mayhem Show interview. This week we're talking to Samantha Starr, I believe... If I get my numbers right, I think she's a third generation wrestler from the Vicious Outcast Wrestling in that uh, in that in that Vixens division they got over there. Some great stuff going on. ViciousOutcastWrestling.com. Friends of ours at Sorgatron Media and the upcoming IndieWrestling.us. Watch out for it. it's under construction, 
and uh, we got some fun, fun stuff coming up for you. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.